Hello and welcome to the 11th episode of Grape Escapes with me, Fiona Stevens, the beer, wine and spirits buyer for the group. And we're going to be focusing on Burgundy this week. And I thought I'd extend the Bastille Day celebrations and put the spotlight on one of my favorite regions in France. Now, Burgundy is really interesting because if you think about it like a pyramid of quality or like a triangle, um, we've got sort of um, lowest to highest quality. And as we go up to that pinnacle, we are sourcing grapes from smaller and smaller locations more and more um, precise up to the point where we can go right at the top and we get the single vineyard areas so i've got a range of wines of different quality this week to show you the different styles that are available and i've actually got four wines so i can cover shabli right in the north of the region right down to beaujolais in the south i hope you enjoy this week's episode First on my list, I've got a brilliant expression of Chardonnay in the form of Chablis, which is a region right in the north, as I said, of Burgundy. This is by the producers Jean Bouchard, which have existed for nearly two centuries. And this is actually a Chablis Premier Cru. So of the pyramid that I was talking about, we've really got four levels. So we've got regional, village, then we've got Premier Cru and Grand Cru. So this is, if you like, the sort of second from the top. Absolutely delicious. and. The interesting thing about this wine is that there is um, a little bit of um, oak aging or barrel aging in around 15% new French oak, which adds some complexity, some extra flavour profile, but also there's a little bit more body to this wine as well. So although Chablis is a really lean, crisp version of Chardonnay, this has got more weight, more body than those sort of village level Chablis. It's got really, really lovely fresh green apple notes. It's got this sort of um, seashell minerality, which they say comes from the um, soils of this area, which is Kimmeridgium, which is a clay soil. Um, and then we've got this really lovely white blossom notes and really sort of delicate hints of smoke as well. There's a very gentle roundness and creaminess on the palate. And then there's this taut acidity, which just cuts right through the wine and creates this beautiful, long, uplifting finish as well. It's fabulous with kind of spicy dishes, such as sort of tandoori, things like that, where the freshness really cuts through it. But it's also absolutely fabulous with seafood and creamy dishes as well. This is an absolute beauty wine exclusive to cold storage it's normally only $60 we've got it on offer a few 50 at the moment and really this is one of my favorite expressions of Chablis and I think you'll really enjoy it second on my list we're going right down the south and we're going to Beaujolais Village and we're focusing on a wine that is 100% Gamay now um, we've featured Laurent Perrichon's wines um, on on the grape escapes before because they're absolutely delicious um, but the main thing is there and it's small independent boutique um, winery. Laurent has got years of experience. He spent time in Bordeaux and then sort of globally and brought all that expertise back to um, Beaujolais to make these fabulous wines. Now, Gamay is um, great because it tends to be lighter bodied. You can enjoy the wine slightly chilled, um, which is great in this climate, obviously. Particularly in this uh, winery, Laurent likes to employ lots of Burgundian um, techniques in terms of winemaking, but he also likes to use the traditional carbonic maceration method, which is sort of renowned in um, Beaujolais. Now, it's very technical and I won't go into the details of it, but it basically creates real vibrancy to the fruit and this sort of um, exuberance that you don't get through other techniques and it absolutely works beautifully with this. So what we get is this absolutely delicious wine bursting with red cherry, with raspberry, with sort of notes of sweet cranberry. Um, it's got a light body um, and a really really refreshing acidity. Now this is really versatile because of that light body fruity nature, it works very well with spicy foods, but it also can work well with sort of salads and cold cuts exclusive to cold storage. It's normally only $29, so it's an absolute bargain anyway, but we've got it on offer for you at 24 at the moment. A really versatile red, really interesting. I think you'll enjoy it. Next on my list is a wine that, if you like, on that pyramid that we're talking about, is um, on the bottom level. So it's sourced from a wider region all across Burgundy. But that means that it's really approachable and it's Bourgogne Pinot Noir. 
Now, the producer here, Maison de Grand Esprit, as you can see from this quite quirky label with the unicorn here, um, they are very interested in taking traditional uh, regions and, and those grapes that are used there and reimagining and reinventing them for a more modern audience. So, um, creating a more modern style that's fruit forward, more approachable. It's unoaked and it's a combination of 85% um, Pinot Noir and 15% Gamay. And those grapes actually work very, very well together as they're both sort of light to medium bodied and really, really expressive fruit as well. So you get really sumptuous raspberry and red cherry um, and rhubarb character on this wine and then a really delicate hint of spice. It's got that really refreshing sort of cranberry style acidity and then this sort of really long finish but very, very gentle tannin. So it's really, really approachable. Um, this is absolutely great with a variety of um, chicken dishes or even things like, you know, veg full flavoured vegetarian, particularly mushroom based works well, or even fish like salmon can really stand up to this wine as well. Now, this wine is normally $55. We've got it on offer for you at the moment for $47. It's really experimental, but it's still absolutely true to those grape varieties and the region that it represents. It's just a bit of a modern twist. Next up, we've got a wine that is another expression of Pinot Noir, but this time this is village level. So this is the next level up from the regional one that we had before. It's from Jean Bouchard, which is the same producer as the Chablis, and this is their Nuit Saint-Georges. 100% Pinot, absolutely delicious. Now, this is slightly different because it has got oak influence. So it's got 12 to 14 months um, in oak and 15% of that is new French oak. So we get some really lovely spice and some different sort of textural components coming in there. And also a little bit of savory notes from some of that development in oak. So we've got lovely cranberry and rhubarb and raspberry notes as before, but this time we've got that overlaid with some earthy notes. Now it's got um, medium bodied, but it's got really lovely fine tannins and a really deliciously long, elegant finish. This is absolutely wonderful with duck dishes, but you could also pair it with pork and chicken, or like I said, full flavored vegetarian dishes. Now this is normally $78, but we've got it on offer for 65 for you at the moment. I know this is a little bit of a treat wine, but I really think it's worthwhile trying and you will definitely notice the quality. Thank you for joining me again this week on my whistle stop tour of Burgundy for you. Absolutely great producers, different styles, different quality levels. This is a sort of small snapshot of our Burgundy section and I really hope this has inspired you to go and explore that section in our stores. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again next time.